Wham Cam, sponsored by your local Honda dealers. It's time to go wham! I'm hanging out here with a fellow Joe. Now the Artemis missions were going back to the moon since the 1970s. My question is, let's pretend this is the moon. Yeah. How far away is it and how long would it take you to get there in your car? It's time to go wham, baby. I mean, they're gonna get there in just like three days. What kind of car do you have? Uh, Colorado truck. Sure. Big shot, big shot in your pickup truck, driving down the highway 65 miles an hour. How long does it take to get to the moon? Non-stop. Five years. Many years. Many years. Yeah. I'll let you even do the speed limit, 65. I'll even let you go a little faster. No cops around. This is space. Oh. Now, would you take your wife with you on that journey, or? She wouldn't go. Now, what if you, when you start leaving, I moon you? <laughs> you have a magical car. Don't worry about gravity, don't worry about oxygen. You're just driving to the moon in your car, 65 miles an hour. How long? Dun, 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 dun. Thousand years. There's no cops. Yeah. There's no speeding tickets. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. In my car. With your seatbelt on, and the right music playing, and the right company, and maybe some crabs. How long would it take? Hopefully a couple months, like maybe four or five months. Let's pretend this is your pickup truck. All right. Go ahead, get towards the moon, baby. If you traveled 65 miles an hour nonstop, it would take just over five months to get to the moon. Over five months. That, my friend, from two Joes is a... It's a win. <laughs> Bam. Baby. Baby. There's no cops. Yeah. There's no speeding tickets. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> 